you're welcome. Um, welcome to the Essex Sport Facebook page. My name is Arlene. I'm going to run a yoga session today for you. Um, when you start, it might be nice to have a little yoga mat and check that your surface that you're working on isn't too slippery. Um, also have some water handy nearby just in case, um, like a little drink. And um, just work at your own level as well. So just do movements that feel comfortable and appropriate for you. Okay, great. So we'll just start. Um, if you want to start by laying back on your mat and just get comfortable for a moment. Good. So you can see if you prefer laying with your legs straight or you might like to have your knees bent. And just take a few moments to settle and come into this moment in the room. And you might see if you'd like to have your arms on your hands on your belly or maybe your arms out to the side and just make adjustments to your clothes you can you're welcome to find a cushion or a pillow here for under your head good and just start to relax into the mat for a moment and just settle into your body just take a quick scan and just check in and notice how your feet and your legs feel today and just notice this without judgment and observe your back, any adjustments to feel completely at ease there. And just scanning upwards, noticing your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your contact points, the back of your head. And just start to feel with each breath that you can let go and relax into the mat. And you might feel your inhalation start to rise. But let your breath be without effort in this moment. Just notice it. Let your inhalation expand and make movement in your body. And as you exhale, you might soften and relax. And you might start to feel the breath kind of relax to the back of your throat. And just notice without effort if there starts to be a little small audible sound at the back of your throat. Like almost like a little baby's breath or a wave. You might notice a small sound as you inhale and a small sound as you exhale. And just start to feel that you can relax into this moment. Good, so you might practice that breath throughout our yoga practice today, but just see how you feel. But when you're ready, you can just start to expand out into space. You can wiggle your fingers and toes or turn your head side to side. Good, and then we'll just very slowly start to bend our knees and bring our thighs towards our stomach or towards our chest. You can stay here holding your shins, but if that feels like it's a bit creating a bit of compression or just if it feels nice for your body, you can start to rock side to side or maybe imagine you're drawing circles on the ceiling with your knees. And you can do that in either direction. So just check in with how your back, your hips feel today, your bottom. Good. And we'll come to a stillness. And if you keep your right knee bent and just place your left foot on the floor, also with its knee bent, and just stay there for a moment. Draw your thigh towards your chest as much as feels comfortable, but relax through the back of your head, your arms, your shoulders. Then if you gently start to um, circle your right ankle a few times in one direction, a few times in the other, then open your knee out to the side and just rest your ankle on your opposite thigh. Good. And then you might open your arms out to the side a bit and just check in with how that feels, but start to relax back into the mat. And as an option, if it feels nice, you can start to rock side to side a little bit. It's like the weight's transferring from side to side on the foot that's on the floor. And you might do that in a small range if that feels like a massage, or you might make it larger with your foot coming towards the floor or your knee towards the ceiling on either side. Okay. And just notice how that feels. Maybe it creates a little massage effect for your upper body. And just notice where your head naturally turns. Is it the same direction as your knee away, or maybe your head staying center? Good, and we'll come back to the middle. Place your foot on the floor, and just take a scan to notice how each side of your body feels right to left. Then we'll do the other leg, so bring the opposite leg to your chest, thigh, towards your stomach. You might hold here in front of your shin or behind your thigh, and just check in with how that feels. And as an option, you can come into that deeper by lifting um, your forehead towards your knee. Good. And then we'll open our knee out to the side, rest your ankle on the opposite thigh, and just check in. Maybe that's nice to stay there today. Or you might very slowly begin to create that little rocking side to side and just notice how that feels. Good. Maybe the range is similar to the other leg, or maybe it's larger or smaller. And not to bring judgment to this, just notice. 
head and maybe your foot comes towards the floor with your knee. And is there a little bit of movement or stillness in your upper body? Just notice what happens. Good. Then we'll come back to the center. Good. And bring both of your thighs to your chest. Hold your shins again. And you might bring your forehead up towards your knees as an option. And just see if that starts to relax or release through your lower back, your bottom. And you can either roll to one side here or just gently rock up. Good. And we'll come to all fours on our hands and knees. Good. So as you set up in all fours, just notice alignment. So your hands are about the width of your shoulders, your wrists under your shoulders. And there might be about two fists between your knees. So your knees are directly under your hips face. We'll just start to move through cat and cow. So as you inhale for cow, soften your stomach towards the mat, tailbone tips up and look up with your head. And I'll just move to a side profile here, but as you exhale for cat, you can round your spine, relax the back of your neck, look at your shoulders. So just move at your own pace through cat and cow, option to do that with your breath if that feels comfortable. Just see where you create space in your lower back and your front. And does it feel relaxed through your touching points? Do you feel any tension arise in the sides of your neck, your shoulders? Good. And how can you feel the ground support you so you can relax through your touching points, your connection points? Good. So we'll do one more round of cat and cow here. And if you come back to a neutral spine, and just slowly start to reach your right arm out to the side. And if it's comfortable, you can start to rotate so your arm lifts away from the floor. So just stop wherever that's comfortable, but you might at maximum have your arm extended up to the ceiling. And then keep your arm long, but just start to feel um, that you're circling your arm in either direction. But that notice, notice how that creates a rotation of your arm in the shoulder socket. And you might just gaze gently, soft gaze, so you can look at your fingers as it moves. And that can be quite small or large, but just find the range that feels comfortable for you. So no tension, just doing that to find ease in your joints. Good, and then we'll come to bring our arm out to the side in a half T and rotate back to all fours. And just take a moment to notice how the side of your body that you worked feels compared to the other. Then we'll do the other side when you're ready. So extend the opposite arm out to the side, rotate, just stop wherever that's comfortable in the range that feels nice. And start to find that circling again small or large, like you're drawing a circle with your fingertips. And again, where does your head need to be for this on this side? Can you feel that rotation? And where does it create a sense of ease or space? Good, we'll do one more round of circling here and come back to all fours on your hands and knees. Good. Next, if we'll practice a little puppy dog pose. So if you keep your knees above your or underneath your hips, and you can gently start to walk forwards. So you're keeping a long spine here, and just stop at any point. Um, so maybe you have your head elevated off the floor, but you might come to rest your forehead on the ground and make your arms or your shoulders comfortable so you can have um, more space between your arms. There might be like a slight V diagonal. Um, you can do this as well with a little support, like a pillow or a cushion underneath your head that feels more comfortable. So just another round of breath here. Just starting to soften through the sides of your neck and your shoulders and your um, rib cage as well. Lovely. Good, and then we'll slowly lift our head, walk your hands back, come back to all fours. Good, and we'll just set up for downward facing dog next. So you can tuck your toes, bring your bottom to your heels, and imagine there's a little string pulling your tailbone, and you just start to lift your hips up. And just come into your down dog at your own pace. And if that feels intense at any time, you can come to extended child's pose or that puppy dog pose we were just practicing in all fours, from all fours. Good, as you practice your downward facing dog, just see how that feels. You might start to bring a little movement if you feel like your calves would like to have a little awakening or movement. You can bend one knee at a time, you can turn your head side to side, or you might start to bring a little flying dog into this by lifting one leg at a time. And you can even, from flying dog, lift a knee, or lift your leg, bend your knee to your navel, and then extend your leg long. And I'll just do that equally if you're taking that as an option on both legs. So just explore your down dog. You might even bring a little movement like you're walking forward from your down dog, walking dog. And so just notice how would you like to practice your down dog today? Where does it create release? But think about keeping that long spine. So it feels like the puppy dog pose we practiced in your back. And you can bend your knees as much as feels comfortable to do that. Or sometimes people prefer to be up on the balls of your feet as you bend your knees. 
Good. So whatever creates a nice length in your spine. Good. One more breath here. And when you're ready, so wherever you are, we'll come to a forward folded position. So you can do the same if you're um, in your child's pose, lift up to all fours, or if you're in down dog, walk your hands to feet or feet to hands. And just come to find a forward folded position of Uttanasana that feels comfortable. So how much space do you like between your feet? Would you like to have your knees bent? Option to rest your forearms on your thighs here. But you might like to practice this with your arm legs a bit straighter and your hands resting on the fronts of your legs at any point. Another option here to use a, a book or cushion or something to rest your hands on. And just take a few moments to notice where the weight is in your feet. And you can bend your knees as much as was comfortable to avoid any tension here in your lower back. Good, one more breath here. And then when you're ready, come up to standing. You can draw your navel inward and just very little bend in your knees. Slowly unfold your spine, coming up to standing. Bring your head up last and you can give everything a little shake here. Good, lovely. So we'll come to stand comfortably um, with our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. So you might have your toes facing forward and just start to um, transfer the weight side to side, almost like you're creating like a wave through your foot. So you might feel the weight on the outside edge of your foot come to center and transfer to the inside edge and vice versa. Good. So um, as you do this, let your arms just feel relaxed and just feel almost like a long, a gentle spine so without drawing your spine um, upright, but just feel that there's length and space between each vertebrae as you rock side to side. Good, so now we're going to transfer the weight to one leg. So if you transfer the weight over to one foot, the opposite leg, you can lift the heel off the floor and just start to feel a little sense of balance. And you can also lift your foot off the floor and then just very slowly start to transfer the weight over to the other side. So just that same feeling of a wave, the weight rolls till it feels almost center and just do this at your own pace. Good, so we're just transferring the weight side to side, just relaxed arms, relaxed jaw, face. Good, so just notice how that feels for you today. Good, and um, as an option, you might stay for a few more moments on one side, and then before transferring over to the other. So just make it your own practice, just notice what feels nice. So you might notice that it's easier to stand on one leg than the other. Good, so we'll just do that once more each side do their legs evenly. Again, just stand as long as is comfortable. You can do this with your toes down if that's more comfortable. Good, and then finishing on the other leg, the opposite leg. Good, and we'll come back to stand. And as you stand with your feet on the ground, just adjust so they're about the width of your hips, maybe, and just check in with how your shoulders, your neck, the alignment of your shoulders over your hips might feel good. And just start to feel now the breath. You might let your breath relax in your body, almost like you're breathing to your feet. And when you inhale, you can feel that gentle rise. We'll just start to make a little movement with our arms. So with your next inhalation, just at your own pace, inhale, bring your arms out to the sky. So your palms are kind of facing inward or forward. And then as you exhale, slowly relax your arms down. So just do that twice more, inhaling, arms open, and exhaling, lowering your arms. So one more round, inhale. You might feel your rib cage start to expand to the side and as you exhale, lower. Good, so we'll just make a little change to the arm movement with our breath. So this time as you inhale, bring your arms out to the side and you might feel like your chest and your rib cage grow to the side with your arms. This time as you exhale, bring your arms towards each other, but bend your elbow so you have one elbow on top of the other and your fingertips might come towards your sides or even towards your back and just soften there. But we'll do that movement again with our breath. So inhaling, and just check in that your knees are soft, there's no tension in your legs. And exhale, you might bring the opposite elbow on top, but just see what feels right for you. Good, so we'll just continue that movement of inhaling, arms out to the side, and maybe you feel an expansion of your chest or your rib cage. And as you exhale, elbow on top, almost like you're giving yourself a little hug or embrace. Good, so you can notice when your arms come inward that that might create a little release through your shoulder blades. So we'll do two more, opening our arms out to the side, inhaling and exhale, bending your elbows, an elbow on top, fingertips towards your sides or back. Again, just making this one, the next one our last, inhaling, good, and exhaling, good. And just stay there for a moment and just check in with your elbows bent, your hands on the sides, that comfortable where it is. You, if you want to come into it deeper, you can walk your fingertips further along your back, almost towards your spine. 
and just notice how that feels. You can also bring your chin to your chest and just check in if you feel any tension at all in your neck. You can just sort of rock your head side to side. Good. One more breath here, then gently bring your head upright, relax your arms, and again, give everything a little shake. So we're going to keep our legs about this um, stance, but you can give a, again, give a little wiggle to your legs and just check in so it feels like your full foot's in contact with the ground evenly and there's no locking in the back of your knees. So that just feels kind of soft and relaxed. Okay, so we're going to do another movement with our breath. So if you interlace your fingers, and as you inhale, bring your arms about shoulder height, or they can be a little bit below, and turn your palms away from you. And you can also start to bring your chin towards your chest and let your, the palms of your hands extend forward. That's your inhalation. Then as you exhale, bring your arms up overhead and just stop at any point. So it doesn't matter where, just where does that feel comfortable? And then we'll open our arms out to the side. Good, so just do that at your own pace, at your own um, breathing. But when you inhale, bring your arms up and if it's comfortable, you can turn your palms away from you. And then as you exhale, just extending the palms of your hands away from you. You can do this with a little bend in your elbows if that's more comfortable. And your arms come out to the side. So we'll do two more rounds at your own pace, inhaling, sort of extending your arms. Maybe you add that turn of your palms away from you. Exhaling, lengthening upwards. Good. So one more round at your own pace. Inhale, arms in front at your own pace. Just notice how the back of your neck might feel. And when you exhale, extending your arms up, and we'll come to relax with our arms by our side. Great. Okay, so you can give everything a little shake again. Just check in if your um, legs feel comfortable, no, no tension at the back of your knees. Okay, so we're going to do another little balance. So um, you're welcome to come near a wall or have a chair nearby that feels quite sturdy. Good. But we'll bring our, our stance a little bit shorter and you can also come off your mat. Sometimes the mat creates a bit of resistance to challenge the balance. Good. Okay, so we'll come to stand comfortably on your feet. And if you just shift the weight over to your left leg, so I'm not sure if this might mirror the image, and think about keeping your hips level and as an option you can place your hands on um, your hips. And then turn your right knee out to the side and just see if that how that feels, just opening your um, thigh out to the side. As an option, you can start to cross your ankle, so it's crossing in front of the straight leg, and you might stay there with your toes on the floor. If you want more, you can bring your ankle higher, just below your knee or above your knee. Just avoid the knee joint itself, and just notice how that feels. You can bring your toes down at any time. Good. Another option, if you want to challenge your balance, you can bring your arms in front of you, about shoulder height or overhead. Just see how that feels. So options to stay here for your balance. Um, just as another option, just to throw it into the mix, you can sit to chair, but think about your tailbone extending downwards. So it's like you're coming at an angle, like a diagonal, um, to sit to chair pose. Good. And as the arms start to feel intense overhead, you're welcome to bring them here to um, in front of your heart space with your palms touching. Good. So just explore your balance, come out of it at any time. Good. So one more round of breath here if you're comfortable. Then when you're ready, you can just very slowly start to relax out of your posture, just do that at your own pace, and you can give everything a little shake. Okay, lovely. So just come back to Mountain Pose, and just take a moment to scan how does the right side of your body feel, how does the left side of your body feel, do they feel differently, what muscles might, have you, might you have used, or how have you created space? And then we'll do the other leg. So just do that at your own pace, slowly shift the weight to the other leg, it might be your right, then the opposite knee, turn that to the side, Check in, where are your hands comfortable? Where would your ankle like to be on this side? Would you like to cross it? Toes might stay on the floor. Option to challenge your balance, lifting your ankle higher. Maybe this is where we'd like to stay, our arms in front or overhead. We might start to feel our tailbone lead at that diagonal, like it's reaching into that chair behind you, that imaginary chair behind you. Maybe there's a chair behind you. Good. So just stay here for a few breaths. Good. And just notice again, does this feel differently on this side? Does it feel an alignment? How does your breath feel? Good, so one more round of breath here, if you're comfortable. Come out at any time. And when you're ready, we'll very slowly start to lengthen up again. Bring your arms down. And option to give everything a little shake. Good, lovely. So we're going to come down to the ground through a squat position. So if you open your legs a little bit wider, turn your toes out to the side, and you might start to feel that shoulder over hip alignment. And as an option, you can 
and bring your hands in front of your heart and start to feel the breath almost like a pathway rise from your navel as you inhale up to your heart and as you exhale relax your breath from heart to navel and just feel how the connection of your feet is with the ground so just continuing that inhaling breath rising up like a pathway from navel to heart and heart to navel good lovely so the next exhalation we'll start to bend our knees so just stop at any point and you can make adjustments to your heels so your knees are tracking to the center of your foot. So stop wherever that's comfortable. Um, you might come to have your um, elbows inside of your knees and um, if you have yoga bricks or blocks, another um, kind of supported way to do this is to place a brick underneath your sitting bones. So just see how that feels for you. We'll just um, stay here for a few moments. Not too long. Good. And just feel, does your jaw feel relaxed, your neck? Does it feel like a nice alignment of head to neck? So warm the breath here, good. And we'll gently bring our hands to the floor. And if you come back to all fours on your hands and knees, and just check in with how you feel. So to relax our back, you can start to rock forwards and backwards. So you can feel the weight transfer from your knees into your hands. Or another option, you can make a little circle or make a circle, it can be large or small. Like you're coming to the side, forward, and the opposite, the opposite side and behind you. And again, that can be large or small, and you can go in either direction. So just check in with how um, there's a relationship between your hands and your knees on the ground, and how you can relax into the floor to feel any release through your lower back and your sides. Okay, lovely. Okay, so we'll come back to all fours, and just set up so your shoulders feel relaxed, wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Good, and we'll just do a little movement next to just kind of um, strengthen our back and our core. So engage your navel inward a little bit. Good. So option one, just reach like you're in a straight line from your hands to your knees. Reach your right fingertips forward. And as an option, you can also extend your left leg behind you. So your knees pointed to the floor and your toes are trying to reach to the back of your mat. As an option here, you can bring just your arm up or just your leg and just see how that feels. Stay for a few breaths and you can adjust this or um, vary it by turning your thumb up to the ceiling. Just notice how that changes kind of the engagement of the muscles. So come out at any time. And then when you're ready, just very slowly float your limbs down, whichever ones you've extended. And you don't have to lift your leg up. Good, but just notice how that feels. We'll do the other side. So again, thinking about straight line from your knees to your hands and you're drawing your fingertips um, forward and your, so your left hand forward, your right leg behind you. And maybe you add a lift with just your leg or just your arm. Lift as high as feels comfortable. Try to keep a nice neutral spine, like you're kind of resting a, a block on the back of your head and your hips stay level. Good. So again, you might turn your thumb up to the ceiling to just kind of adjust or vary that. Good. And then when you're ready, do it very slowly, just at your own pace, come down. This will practice a little child's pose next. So from all fours, if you bring your bottom to your heels, and you can start to slowly bring your upper body down. You might rest here on forearms or bring your into your fists. You can rest your forehead on two fists or one, or maybe the ground feels comfortable, or if you have any pillows or cushions nearby. So just stay here in child's pose for a few breaths and start to soften and relax through your lower back. Um, if you do feel tension at all in your lower back, sometimes it's quite nice to open your knees a bit wider and your toes can come towards each other. So just see where you'd like to practice that in this moment. Soften into the ground, relax through your shins, and just notice where the breath is. How does your breath feel in this moment? Does it feel relaxed? Okay, just a normal round of breath here. Good. And then when you're ready, we'll walk our hands back towards our shoulders, lift up to all fours for a moment, and then come to sit on your bottom with your legs extended in front of you. And if you have, um, if your hamstrings feel a little bit tight, you might sit up on a, some cushions or blocks or you can fold up a towel. Um, so just see what feels comfortable for you. If you do have yoga straps nearby, you're welcome to have that. We're going to um, come forward towards our uh, one of our straight legs. So if you keep your um, left leg straight and bend your right knee, and just stay there for a moment and you can hold the front of your shin and just start to soften through your sitting bones and relax the top of your head, check in with your jaw. Good. So think about that leg straight from your hips, knees up to the ceiling, both knees up to the ceiling. And we'll open our right leg out to the side 
and start to place the sole of your foot inside of your leg. So just notice where is that comfortable. If this feels a little bit um, like there's tension, you can place cushions or support underneath your bent knee here. Good. And then think about as if your tailbone almost tips um, backwards. So your hips are kind of on a little diagonal. So your tailbone to your sitting bones, it's like you're leaning forward with your hips. And then just very slowly you can start to walk your hands forward on either side of your straight leg. So as an option, if you do have like your bathrobe or a towel nearby or a yoga strap, you can place it around the sole of your straight leg foot. And just start to think about that long spine and that your breastbone leans as it gently comes forward. So just stop at any point in the range that feels comfortable for you. But just check in. Do you feel any tension building in your shoulders, in your jaw? Do you, can you relax through your touching points? So let go to gravity. Okay, so just stay for another round of breath here. Come out or ease out at any time as it feels intense for you. Good. Now when you're ready, just very slowly think about the top of your head. Just starting to lengthen upwards. You can lift out of your posture. Okay, and then we'll straighten. Um, or sorry, we'll bring our knee upright again and hold your shin and almost um, lean back a little bit like you're practicing a bone pose so it feels like your sitting bones are, are, are connecting to the ground and just kind of lean back with that long spine. Good. Lovely. So we'll come upright and if you straighten your legs you can give them a little shake and just prepare for the other side. So same options here, legs straight from your hip knee to the ceiling, bend the opposite knee, hold your shin, just start to lengthen upwards and without leaning back um, yet and then we'll turn our knee out to the side connect with your sitting bones on the floor or on your brick and see where you'd like to place the bottom of your foot comfortably here so when that feels like it's in position just do it at your own pace lengthen your spine start to feel your hips tilt back slightly your sitting bones are almost kind of leaning towards the wall behind you you can walk your hands forward maybe you'd like to have a strap on the side or support underneath your knee so just see where that's comfortable for you here and if you want to make it a bit deeper you can think about um, lengthening the heel of your straight leg further away from you it's almost like your toes draw towards your body okay, just stay there a few more breaths again ease out at any time and then you might feel length in the top of your head forward towards your toes one more round of breath here. When you're ready, just very slowly start to hinge back up. Good. And we'll come to lay on our backs with our knees bent. Oh, oh sorry, no, not yet. We bring your knee upright, hold your shin, lengthen your spine, just lean back for a moment. Good. That feels quite nice. That's it, lovely. Okay, then we'll come forward and lay on our back with our knees bent. Good. So as you come to lay back, with your knees bent, just notice how your spine feels, your shoulders, your legs, and um, bring your arms a little bit out to the side and place your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, but just check in that your knees feel comfortable so there's a nice um, alignment here with your knees and ankles. Good, so just start to rock or relax your knees side to side. So that can be quite small little movement, or it might be larger with your knee coming in the direction of the floor. And again, just make adjustments if that feels like it's creating an, um, discomfort in your lower back. You can bring your, adjust the placement of your feet, maybe bring them closer or further away from your body. Good, so just take a few moments to windshield wipe your knees side to side. Good, and then when you're ready, we'll just come back to stillness. Good, and just start to get into a comfortable position for a, a little relaxation. So notice if you'd like your legs straight or your knees bent. You can, as an option, place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. And just relax through your back body. Soften through your touching points. And you might start to feel the breath again through that space in your throat. Notice it, perhaps make a little sound as you inhale and a sound as you exhale. But just do this without effort. And just take a few moments to Connect with your breath and just scan, notice how you feel, bring no judgment to this, just observe the rise of your inhalation, the release of your exhalation, 
maybe feel the breath rise and fall in that space in your throat, making a small sound like a wave that fills you with grief. And as you exhale, relaxing and releasing. You're welcome to stay in this posture for a few more moments. And there's no rush to come out of it, but when you do feel ready to come out, you can like wiggle your fingers and toes or just bring sensation back to your body. So don't rush to come out, but just slowly at your own pace. You can wiggle. start to bring sensation back to your body. So I'll leave you here now um, so you can at your own pace, maybe enjoy a few more moments of relaxation. But thank you for coming and honoring yourself with your practice today. Um, and I hope you have a peaceful rest of your day. Feel free to send any messages or any questions you have over to um, the Essex page on Facebook, Essex Court page on Facebook. You can check out our other videos and recordings, but hope you have a great rest of your day.